Okay, continuing on in our stat tips and tricks series, we're going to look at the um, ability to do mass migration. And so over here in the um, object management window, archive sets, make sure you've got your archive sets available to you. So for example, if a developer cannot migrate themselves to, to QA, or maybe you want to queue things up for production, uh, you can pick which archive set you want to move. So let's say it's the developer and they're logged in and they know which archive set needs to be moved. It's not archive set um, number one. It's 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 or it's not uh, the just the SQR. It's the change number one. And so they know how to what needs to go to the migrator. So they check ready to migrate. And then all they have to do is hit the save button in the upper left. Click on this migration target button. And this gives them the option now to pick where they want the migrator to move it to. This does not perform a migration. It simply communicates with the migrator. It queues this object up for HR test. And so in this particular case, you can see it hasn't been migrated. There's no approval required. I'm going to hit OK. And now I've queued that up for the migrator. All the migrator has to do at this point is go into Migration Management, Mass Migrations, and they have some options. They can either choose ready to migrate or release. We're going to deal with the uh, release management in another module. We're going to talk about ready to migrate. And this is basically giving the migrator the ability to go look for everything that is queued up for a particular environment. So let's say it's HR test. And you can see now all the different tickets or CSRs that are queued up for migration, there's many here, um, are, are basically waiting for the migrator to be able to migrate. So that ready to, ch to migrate checkbox and the migration target gives the developer the ability to communicate with the migrator. Now, what the migrator has the capability of doing is picking and choosing what he wants to migrate all at once. He doesn't have to migrate all this at once. He can do it in, in blocks or groups. And then he can go in and um, pick the staging database, choose a project name, and Stat's going to actually make this one large project. Okay. It's not going to be multiple projects for each CSR. It's one large project. So all the, the migrator has to do is queue up all the, ar the uh, uh, archive sets that he wants to move and hit Next, and that'll actually perform the migration. That's mass migration by ready to migrate flag. As soon as the migration occurs, you simply, um, you'll notice that the, uh, this flag will clear and the items will no longer be in the ready to migrate uh, wizard window. So this it's not, not like this wizard will continue to accumulate after you've migrated. Once you migrate, this particular window clears out. I just thought I'd mention that before I close out this seg segment.